morning viewers welcome to consumer short term classes this dictation is from the speed given in the examination held in november 1963 get ready to take dictation at 80 words per minute for 10 minutes right yes stop i am glad of this opportunity to address you during the last 3 years i met many of you both in the civil and defense services of this country i have addressed you discussed many matters with you and worked in close touch with some of you if i had my way i would have liked to meet many more of you so that we might know each other better for we are workers in the common cause and much depends upon the degree of our mutual understanding many have praised you greatly and many have sometimes unfairly criticized you that was natural in the circumstances and it is possible to find most of us room for praise and room for criticism most of you have had to adapt yourselves to new conditions of work within a short period of time i want to tell you that in the 3 years i have known you i have found you as a whole loyal servants of the country i have appreciated the way you have adopted yourselves to new conditions most of you have had to work much better than before because the situation demanded hard work you have applied yourselves to this work with good will and a desire to serve this country of ours which has at last achieved its freedom those of you who are in the defense services have had to face many trials and have stood a hard test successfully you have their hope thereby gained the praise of your countrymen you have gained something even more and that is self confidence and faith in yourselves and your cause not only the men of the defense services but all of us whatever the capacity we have worked in have stood the test of our faith and capacity during this early period of our freedom just at the moment when all our services as well as much else in the country had been split up difficulties faced us all bringing death and suffering to many human beings while facing them 
we set about rebuilding the structure that had been partly damaged let us not praise ourselves for what we did for so much remains undue but let us at least recognize our achievements for they are not less important it is difficult for all of us to adopt ourselves to changing conditions and even when we do physically the mind lags behind it is just as difficult for others to develop the discipline that freedom demands this process must normally take time at you have succeeded in a large measure every thinking person knows that the running of a modern government requires the machinery of highly organized efficient and loyal services no government can function effectively without them i think the success we have had in this is satisfactory but the ultimate test lies in the results we achieve the only test is the people we serve in hard times goodwill may not be easily forthcoming but loyal and efficient work in a great cause even though it may not be immediately recognized ultimately bears fruit you serve the nation in a variety of ways and in many capacities some have the responsibility of high office others work in small jobs some are generals others are ordinary soldiers in the army dear sir referring to your letter dated first instant i have the honor to state that the information called for could not be supplied immediately from this office as the necessary particulars have yet to be collected from various offices under our control we are anyhow in a position to let you know that steps will be taken shortly to collect the particulars and send them on to you pending the receipt of details from our subordinate offices i would like to suggest that the statistics in detail may be prepared in your office so that the tabulation may be made according to your requirement further we are just now very busy in connection with the proposed legislation in the local assembly regarding labor immigration i have very great pleasure to inform you that we are organizing a new department to look after the interests of those people who land in india in utter despair after spending a good deal of their time in foreign lands the sight of such miserable men has shocked 
many of us in India and therefore we have been able to get a decent start in funds for our activities. I would expect your cooperation in all, in all our efforts and I hope we can depend upon your guidance. If you will make an appointment next week, I shall be glad to see you and I may be able to give you more particulars. Yours sincerely, that's all.